Hello, welcome back again to our YouTube channel. So today we are installing two 22 kilowatt three-phase electric car chargers for one of our clients here in Luton. So as you can see, client already have a 7.5 kilowatt uh, Rolex EV charger, um, with just a 7.5. So when they're charging two vehicles from this unit, it tend to um, split that 7.5 kilowatts and it tend to take uh, such a long time for them to charge. Uh, plus they want to increase their EV charging base in this uh, car park because it's a fairly larger business here. So they want to get at least four EV charging base out there. Now these two here, they're not your regular uh, residential seven kilowatt car chargers that we normally install. These are uh, 22 kilowatts each. They've got two twin 22 kilowatt outputs. So two cars can charge at 22 kilowatts um, at the same time from each one of these. We decided to go for the project EV flow standing car chargers mainly because of their warranty that they provide um, these come with up to five year warranty and loads of tech built into it like we got pen pull detection built in we have the uh, a dynamic load management all the smart capabilities and the whole lot so um, we have been using a lot of the project tv domestic chargers in the last few years but this time we thought like let's go for the, uh, the main commercial version so the guys out there, they're doing the groundwork, so they've done the trenches, they laid the cables all in. Um, because of the distance from the distribution board up to the charge installation point, we had to um, get a bigger 25mm uh, 5 core 3 phase cable laid from the distribution board up to the car park. So that's all ready. They've got the uh, CAT6 cabling as well for the well, one for the data, the second one for the dynamic load management data. So yeah, everything's ready. We're just going to get the armored cables um, terminated by the distribution board. So if you come along, let me just, uh, by the way, this is the main switch panel that controls power to all of the other sub distribution boards in this uh, warehouse unit. Um, so this board here, uh, which got the DBEV reference, that board get power from the the main switchboard and currently 100 amps of three phase power allocated for that distribution board um, so what we're going to be doing is that um, we're going to be adding two of the circuit breakers onto this three phase triple pole circuit breakers and then we're going to be coming off this board and terminating the two uh, three phase armored cables so that's the task for today get this section all ready there's a little bit of foundation work over there the guys have to do with the putting the concrete in and getting the platform and everything ready so once that's done, hopefully it'll be dry and ready for us. First thing tomorrow morning, we can start putting the flow stands and do all the termination work out there. So, right, let's get the tools and let's get to it. Looking at the ground works, we've got the trench already done up. Um, we've got the cables already in, ducting's already in. We've got the we've got another couple of small ducts where we're carrying all the data cabling and the another set of Cat6 cabling for the uh, dynamic load management. So if you follow me, we will um, just have a look at the parking bases over there. So that cable run it goes from the distribution board on that side of the building. The distribution boards but another 10 meters down that way. And this is the, uh, the UK Power Network substation the transformer there supplying power to this building here. So the distribution boards are just there and uh, we've got the armored cables running through that trench all the way to that section over there. Uh, because of the distance and the amount of power they need, we've decided to go for a 25 mil five core steel wire armored cable for the installation. So if you follow me, let me just show you the Right, so this is where the, uh, the floor mount boxes um, already concreted down. So our pedestal stands will now slot into this and then the charger will be mounted onto the pedestals. Um, you can see there are cabling coming up for the low voltage, the, the CAT6 cable for the uh, networking uh, to activate the smart charging, uh, the smart functions of the charger, as well as the big uh, armored cable there coming up for the three phase power supply. So we've got two of them and full parking base so
Right, so we got two of these bad boys in here. 25 mil, five core steel wired armored cables. Each one of these will be speeding up power to um, one of those car charger units out there. So we've got two of them and we got a bunch of um, external grade Cat6 cables. So the two of them will be going straight up into their network um, server cabinet to get, give the, the internet connectivity for the um, car charge units out there so they can um, communicate with all the mo mobile phone app and the online server. The other two will be for the uh, load management side of things with the CT clamps. So yeah, that bit's gonna, we're gonna get to that sh um, shortly after. But the main thing is to get these two armored cables, this and the one that's on the floor, um, both wired and terminated into this uh, distribution board. So we've got um, 32 SWA glands, so it will be a gland like that. We're gonna drill at the bottom here, two holes, 32, and then the cable will, it's gonna be a bit of a tight turn down here because we got the duct bringing the cables straight in that way. So we'll have to take a turn and then go up the client left bit of cable tray here. So we're gonna get that cable tray up here. The cable will climb up the tray go through the bottom of the distribution board and then we'll fit the new circuit breakers into this area here. So yeah, that's the plan. So let's get to it.